Shear water computers are loved all over the world by technical and recreational divers. And this is quite impressive because the company only exists from 2004. Um, they're loved for their robustness and simplicity and that's exactly why the Perdix AI is so good. So let's dive in. Before we dive in, you might want to consider subscribing and liking this video. It helps us a lot. Also, we have brand new t-shirts in our shop. It helps us keep the videos coming and you also save a shark in the process. Thanks. When you first look at the Paradox, you can see it's built like a tank. It has a solid housing with eight screws holding it down. It has a depth rating of 850 feet. But keep in mind, if you go below 400 feet, the depth sensor may not be accurate. One of the biggest selling points, in our opinion, is the LCD full color display. It's colorful, it's bright and very easy to read. It has automated brightness adjustment, which means when you dive in bright conditions, the brightness of the screen gets cranked up. And if you dive in dark conditions, it's going down, which saves the battery. It's much similar like your iPhone nowadays. This also means there's hardly any glare on the screen. What we also love is the fact that the information which is displayed on the screen is um, dependent on the dive you do. If you do a recreational dive, it only shows the essential information for that type of diving. If you do a technical dive, more information is shown, like your certain gas mixture you're diving with at the moment, or your dive planning, and even all your deco stops. It's even possible to adjust certain rows in all four displays to adjust the Perdix even more to your wishes. Perdix has many modes and can almost be used in every dive scenario imagined. So you can dive with normal air and enriched air up to 100% and up to three different gases. Furthermore, the Perdix is a full decompression Trimax computer. It can take on closed circuit rebreathers with a fixed PPO2. It also has full gauge capabilities and all the calculations are done with the Boomen algorithm and you can upgrade to a VPMB algorithm if you wish to. You can upgrade your Perdix with the latest firmware and unlike other manufacturers, Shearwater actually upgrades their computers. They're up to version 53 now. With every Perdix you get free desktop software with which you can log all your dives. Not like there's any need to upload all your dives because the Perdix can hold up to 1000 hours of diving. But if you do, uh, you can use the Bluetooth connection which also works with Android and iOS. Shearwater is also nice enough to make their connection open and you can use other software like from Deep Blue. The dive planner of the Perdix is one of the most comprehensive ones I've ever seen. You can do full decompression models with them and it transfers them in understandable tables. When you haven't done a planning and you're doing a recreational dive and you press the planning button on a computer underwater, it will show you how much time it will take to get back to the surface and how much gas it will take. Another thing we like about the Perdix is the fact that the compass is really good. I would normally never toss out my analog SK-8 Sundo compass, but this one is actually good. Uh, the 3X tilt compensation works and you can definitely use it in real life. So is there nothing wrong with the Perdix? Despite it being an awesome computer, there are still some things to be desired. The battery is not rechargeable. It goes for 300 hours and then you need to replace it. So the Sunto Aeon Core and the Galileo have a leg up on the Perdix there. Despite that, the battery is user replaceable and it takes AA batteries, which is fine. There's a small detail we like a lot and that's the fact that you can turn off the dive computer and you don't see that too often like on Sundu dive computers it stays on forever. Another difference with computers in this category is the fact that most computers take like eight or nine transmitters and the Perdix only takes two. You might want to ask yourself if you're gonna use this. We never dove with more than one transmitter so. Despite these minor things the Perdix is one of the best, if not the best dive computer. No matter what diving you're going to do, the Perdix can handle it. It also holds its value, so if you ever want to resell it, that would be no problem. And it's really just an awesome computer. One thing to keep in mind when you're buying a second-hand Perdix, there are actually two versions, the Perdix and the Perdix AI. They used to have a Perdix without the wireless transmitter, and they have introduced a year later one with. You can't update the old version to go with a transmitter and this version is still lingering around on the internet and on web shops. So watch out for it. 